11-year-old Caleb lost his father, Air Force Captain Cartez Durham, in a helicopter accident in Italy four and a half years ago. Caleb and his brother Christian are joining 1,200 children, parents, and other families of fallen service members as part of an event sponsored by the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, or TAPS. The Durham family looks forward to it each year. I brought my kids five months after my husband died because I wanted them to know they were not the only kids who had lost a parent, either mother or father in the military. And I wanted them to know that there is a place they can go to where they feel normal and where they feel like they don't have to always talk about what happened. But we're all here for the same reason. TAPS has been bringing survivors together on Memorial Day weekend since 1994, with grief seminars for the adults and the day camp for the kids. Grief is not a mental illness. Grief is not a physical injury. Grief is a wound of the heart. And the absolute most therapeutic comfort for someone who is grieving the loss of a loved one is to talk with another young widow who was pregnant at the time of the loss, a mom who is grieving the loss of her only child. What does this week weekend mean to you? What does it mean to you? That even though your, your parent or your, or your husband or wife died, you can still have fun, and that's I think that's what this camp's for. Caleb is paired with mentor Lewis Iverson for a second year. Lewis serves in the Air Force. Just because they lost a loved one, I mean, it does not mean that we, as a military group, has just forgot about them. They also spend time with other children who know what it's like to lose a parent or a sibling. Caleb first met his friend Hunter Youngblood here four years ago. <laughs> For families like the Durham's, this weekend is an important reminder they're not alone. Just having the, the sense of belonging when we're here, knowing that we don't have to always talk about our situation, it's understood here. But we can talk about it and we can laugh and we can smile, but at the same time, you talk about them in the past tense and that's what makes it more painful. Athena Jones, CNN, Arlington, Virginia.